What's up everybody? Welcome back to another form video. Today is gonna be about a swing thought or like form thought that really helped me with alignment of my legs and getting my hips engaged with the backhand. And I really wanted to share this, so yeah, thanks for watching and let's get right into it. All right, so first of all, a lot of you have been asking me about if I could please keep on doing the how-to series. And don't worry, I will do that. I have a lot of stuff planned already. It's gonna come out all winter basically. But today is gonna be a little bit different. Still a form video, but just not part of the how-to series. It's more like a personal thing. So, just so you know. So, quick backstory of why I chose to do this video today instead of what I had planned for the how-to series is that a couple of days ago I went for a practice round with my dad and my hip action was kind of off. I wasn't really throwing as far as I usually do. I made more mistakes and I made the same mistake over again which was an early release and I absolutely knew what was going on but I just didn't really know how to fix it. And so I asked him what, what are his thoughts on, on, on the swing and what I should think about in order to fix it. And he gave me some great advice that he gave me a long time ago, probably like 20 times already. But I kind of forgot about it and he said it. All of a sudden all of my shots were really good again, or most of my shots. And that's why I really wanted to share this today instead of doing another how-to. So. Yeah, now let's really start. Move the camera, so now you have a little bit of a better view. So, as I already said, I had a problem with early releasing my shots, not really getting my power that I usually have, and also just not really feeling good when throwing the shot. So, I tried to find out what I was doing wrong, and I quickly noticed that my last step was just a tiny little bit too far to the front left corner. And it wasn't just that, it was also that I was kind of falling onto the shot. And that really messed up everything. So within a couple of minutes probably, I already found out that I needed to plan straight again to free up my hips and just, yeah, get back to my usual throw. So the first thing I tried was actively imagining the line on every shot and really trying to keep my last step on that line. But what happened was I got like really tight trying to stay on this line, got really tight in my hips. And the issue was that I, through all this tension through the hips, kind of stopped rotating entirely. I was just trying to stay on this line and maybe I stayed on the line, but the timing was completely off. Basically no rhythm in the swing, so yeah, that was the first thing I tried out and it didn't really work. So naturally I went on to what I thought might be the next reason I'm doing this. And I thought that I might try to be too smooth, try to be too calm in the swing. And through that I might have turned a little bit too early. And if you're already facing this way at the beginning of the X step, you're really prone to making this mistake that I was making. So. I tried to turn later, but again, I got really tense, kept trying to force staying on this line, and that just didn't really help. Again, I just got more and more tight, kind of the exact opposite of what, what you want to happen when you try to fix a form mistake. So yeah, no success with that either. So after trying out those two thoughts and them not working, I became pretty pissed and I asked my dad, and he was pretty quick to analyze what I was doing wrong. So here's what I did wrong. I tried to be super smooth in my like run up and in my entire swing. And that kind of caused my hips to push me towards the left side for some reason. I don't really know why. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter why. But what he identified was that the problem was my hips and the X step were up here. And then instead of my hips staying on this line, my hips pushed me towards the left side and that caused early releasing 
my hips not working properly and everything just kind of messing up. And that hip pushing or like that hip just kind of swaying around somewhere not really in line is also the reason or was also the reason why I didn't get my feet on this line because obviously if your hips are going somewhere your feet are gonna go there as well. So here's what he told me. He told me to just try to keep the middle of my hips, so like this area right here, on the line. Because if my hips stayed on that line, I'm automatically going to be aligned and everything is going to work. So I threw all of those specific thoughts about keeping my foot exactly here and turning at this exact moment. I threw that all away and I just thought about keeping the center of my hips above the line through the entirety of the swing. And first shot I tried it was perfect, it felt like my normal shot again. And the reason for that is actually pretty obvious. Mainly because your hips are dictating where your feet can even go. And by my hips kind of exiting early here to the left, I couldn't push myself back here. And that's also why my first thought about just keeping my feet on the ground didn't work. So big piece of advice. If you've watched my run-up and hip videos, then you probably already know my thoughts on this. But this thought with keeping the center of your hips on the line, for me is probably, right now it's probably my number one swing thought and probably my favorite one. And I wish I already remembered that thought when I made those other videos, because I would have obviously included them. But yeah, now you know. And yeah, that's basically it. So here's what I want you to take away from this short little video. First step of fixing a form mistake is obviously always identifying the form mistake. Now what I did was I felt something was wrong. I knew that the mistake I always made, which was the early release and the lack of power was probably somehow linked to my last step being too far left. Um, I actually filmed myself once, found out that that was the case. And now here's the important part of the takeaway for you guys. Knowing how to fix something is actually way harder than finding out what that mistake is. And so in my case, I tried to be too specific about lines and angles and timing, when really that one simple thought about keeping my hips on this line fixed everything instantly. So key takeaway here, choose your thoughts about the swing very wisely because you might already know which mistake you're making but by thinking the wrong way you're not fixing it. Maybe you're even making it worse like I did in my case. So keep your hips on the line. Piece of advice from my dad, not really from me, I'm just reciting here. But yeah, so that's, that's kind of the takeaway here. Also, if this video didn't really make sense to you about me talking about this line and the hips and all that stuff, you might have not watched my other two videos on footwork and hips yet. One of them was called uh, How to Throw with the Hips and the second one was How to Fix Your Run Up. So if you didn't really understand what I was talking about here, you should probably watch those two videos and then it should hopefully all make sense. Hopefully, I don't know. So that's basically it already. A um, Little bit of a shorter video this time, but I just really wanted to share this thought that my dad gave me and that worked for me, mainly because I'm pretty sure that a lot of people who watched my hip and run up videos might already know what they're doing wrong, but they just don't really know how to fix it. So that was kind of, that video was intended for exactly those people, so that thought really worked really really well for me. I hope it works for you and just try it out, see what happens. So as always, thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing, liking, all of that. Um, it means a lot to me. If you have any questions, please feel free to write a comment. I try to reply to every comment. So yeah, you probably will get an answer. Um, as always, thanks to Disc Golf for You, Austrian Disc Golf Shop, for supporting my videos. 
thanks to Latitude and Moby Disc Golfing as well for being my other two sponsors. And I almost forgot, because I forgot the last video as well, please follow me on Instagram at leonsonleitner underline dg. That really helps me a lot and thanks for watching. See you next time.